Anyone growing up in California will remember the billboards along Highway 101 announcing Anderson's pea soup with the iconic cartoon of Happy and Pee Wee splitting peas. Each year when my family returned from our grandparents' home from our Christmas holidays, our final stop was always at Anderson's for the Traveler's Special, which was a bowl of the delicious pea soup and a basket of cheese bread. There was a picture of Happy and Pee Wee in the bottom of the bowl when you finished your soup, but the really best part was that it was an endless bowl and you could have as many refills as you wanted. To make the Anderson recipe, which is Juliet's secret recipe, has never really been a secret. It's printed on the package of slip peas sold in the gift store. The secret is really in the simplicity of the ingredients. To make Juliet's famous split pea soup, you will need one package of dried green peas, two quarts of water, one branch of celery chopped, one large carrot chopped, one medium onion chopped, a quarter of a teaspoon of dried thyme, one bay leaf, salt and pepper to taste, and the only secret ingredient, a pinch of cayenne pepper. Into a large pot, which I've already added my, some water to, you want two quarts of cold water. Next, your dried peas, which have been rinsed and sorted through. You're looking for any stones, rocks, or anything that sometimes you do find in dried uh, beans and peas. Next, you want to add your chopped carrots and celery, and your final addition, your chopped onions. You're going to hold your dried herbs and your salt and pepper and your bit of cayenne until after this is cooked for 30 to 45 minutes on flame. Our peas and onions and carrots have been on the stove now for about 35 minutes, and I just tasted them, and they're nice and tender. So now it's time to add the seasoning. I'll start with our dry thyme and salt and pepper. Now this is when you have to let it kind of just integrate into the with other flavors and then taste it. I'm going to guess it's going to need more salt. I've tasted this for seasoning and I've added just a little bit more salt and pepper. The reason you add the salt and pepper at this point and not at the beginning is that it keeps the uh, peas uh, from becoming tough. Here's our added secret ingredient, a pinch of cayenne pepper. That's Juliet's only secret ingredient. Stir it around and now it's ready to take, it, take off flame. Your next step is to take your peas and carrots and celery and onions and put them through a blender. Juliet actually used a food mill because, of course, she wouldn't have had a blender in her day. Our last batch. You want to add all of your pureed soup back into a pot. This will go on the stove for about a half an hour at a very low heat, and then it'll be ready to serve. Now, at this point, you could have made your soup with chicken broth, you could have added ham, hock, you could have added a lot of different flavors to it. But I like the simplicity of the pure vegetarian split pea soup. The story of the Andersons is actually a great story. Danish immigrants, Anton and Juliet, arrived in Solvang, a community of Danish immigrants, and purchased property near what would become Highway 101, where they built and opened a cafe, mostly serving tourists, salesmen, and truckers, between Los Angeles and San Francisco. It was Juliet's recipe for split pea soup that soon became the main attraction. When the demand for peas grew, they had no place to store the gunny sacks of dried peas, so they put them in the window along with a sign that read, Home of the Split Pea Soup. The slogan carries on to this day. Anderson's will always hold a special place in my heart with fond memories from my childhood, which I was able to share with my own children and in case you're curious, the record for the number of bowls of soup eaten at one sitting, it's 17. That's over a gallon of soup.